Hello, everybody. I look at it. Pulka Pokolarini Mono. Thank you, man, and you respect. Nangala Yulmo land. I wish I to pay my respect and thank you for inviting me to speak here on Yunwu land. And I'm so humble and being here is really great and honor. Um, I'd like to share um, uh, PYC covers 10, 10 very remote schools in South Australia and also the Wilter boarding program based in Adelaide. Our community schools all have their own local governing councils and provide representatives to meet together. Each term to set broad directions about Anangu education from birth to year 12. Attendance Nganana Kulini important issue for us as Anangu to consider and to make sure our children are in school so they can learn and move towards achieving success. Finishing school and being well educated, strong and confident is what we want to achieve for our Anangu children. We have tried a lot of different ideas. One of the ideas has been make, make a series of TV commercials to encourage children to come to school and so that family can understand the important, importance of school. One of the problem Pulka Ngrape Rawa Another problem is our communities. In our communities was family taking their children for extended weekends to sports carnival almost every week. This issue was taken to communities and now the SANFL are supporting communities to run football competitions only on Saturdays. In all of these situations, the family provides the support, the encouragement and the motivations for success. This is a very important point. Our families are united and strong through our shared foundation of Arnangu culture, our traditional stories, laws, and our country. The family provides the foundation to be strong and to succeed on and off country. I know our young friends and colleagues think the same way. Munungana Kunpo Kunpunga Narago Family Wankara. When we when everybody works together, starting from the strong foundation of children's families, we have a chance of succeeding. Kujamangoporto or in Murpijala 
change him in a new foundation, Balani. You can't come in from outside and make decisions. The family needs to decide what should be strengthened, what, what changes need to be made to address issues. Nindi, one of a family, can you need important things? We know the family have things that are important to them, such as funerals, cultural businesses, and traveling. We can't stop these things and try and force the children to go to school. Instead, we must have to get a, we must have work, workshop and meetings with the whole family group. Because in our own way, our own culture, we got big family, big, big family. So bringing the family together is really important. We have to get a, message to add to the families so that we can all work together, strengthen the good things and reduce the bad things. Things that taking away our children, for example, funeral, is not a, it's not a bad, but it's, a, but it's important for the family, but we got to work different ways to make sure our children are in school. If we attempt to work outside of the foundation of child's family and establish another foundation, it won't work. <coughs> Governments can work with us as equals and build the foundation that's, that is already there. Attempting to move our children to a different foundation leaves our children frightened and feeling dis discouraged, disconnected. This is not a foundation for success. Attendance is, is important and we all know that. Anangu, Yulungu, everybody. And we want, our, we want our attendance to be strong and support, supported by the family. My colleague, Katrina Jedai, who would be here with, with me, but she didn't come described the education is as a tree. She argues that we need to see the strength of the tree lies unsee unseen, deep below the ground, in the roots. The leaves are the things that we can easily see. Our policy needs to be addressed the root of the education tree. It's time that we look below the surface to help our children grow and succeed. In our community, some families are not supporting or caring for their children to thrive and succeed. This is real strong concern but in our culture, we come around those children as a wider family group. It's important for services that support our vulnerable children to include the wider family foundation to help these children. This is something I've been working on together with government in encouraging them to work with family 
family groups in a community. Family are the ones who can, who can and must nurture, guide the future of their children. They are the ones who must make decisions about things like managing cultural responsibility and getting a good education. One last bit I would like to share is, as Nelson Mandela said, education is a most, most powerful weapon that can change the world. This is, a, this is an important message for us to, for us as Anangu or indigenous people. But, but we must remember not to forget our strength that we already have in our spirit. We must carry our own power, identity with us, our language, our culture, as we move into the new world. With the family activity involved in children's education and making strong decisions at the local level, and we'll see positive changes in our children's education. We hope at this time, when change is coming, you will all listen to us, you will sit and work with us in partnership so we can give our children the best life possible. Thank you.